Usually, when you get a psychic drone in RimWorld, it will, at worst, cause a few mental breaks. But I'm playing a 500% difficulty, wealth independent mode, naked brutality challenge on an ice sheet, where progress is excessively slow, raids are extreme, and characters are always on the edge. Now, I didn't think that this challenge would have a happy ending when I started it. But is a psychic drone really going to be the end of it? There's only one real fighter in the colony, Luna. She's been able to boss mode through some crazy threats to keep the colony alive until now. But this particular psychic drone came at the worst possible time, dropping her into a catatonic state. And now... 18 snipers are pouring into the base with no one to defend it. My name's Xavier and welcome to the most dangerous psychic drone of all time. Spear, boom, strap, boom, speed her down. Mannerin's coming over now as well. Ooh, he's really gonna snipe the turret from there, is he? Okay, everyone else, come on out, boom. Smash, Blanc, Barrel, Mummy. Yes, they're getting wrecked left and right. Woo, this is awesome. Luke is smashing out our back door here. You know who could go give him a, a greeting? It would be good karma right in the face. Let's go equip a new Thrumbo Horn. Let's have Mad Monk now actually come out with just the shield belt and run around. Snipers are really, really, really well shut down by shield belts. And that's what we want. We want to give these guys something to think about. Nice. Come on, Monk. Come on out and distract them. Come on out and distract them, Monk. Yeah, give them something to think for, about. What for? I don't know. Anything. Woo. All right. Well, that's one raid down. Yes, good karma. Come outside. Greet them cordially. Ooh, giggles went down. Look at little giggles. We're, just, we're giggling at giggles misfortune right now, aren't we? Get him, good karma, get him. Get that, Castro. Whew, okay, well. That raid was evaporated. We'll haul in this good sniper rifle. Realistically, that's the only one we're gonna be able to keep. Maybe this good one down here as well, and that's it. What we really need to do with Monk is work on that granite door more than anything, because the next, the next raid is already here. Holy, oh my God. It's huge. What the heck is this? 40? It was supposed to be, they're sappers? Ah. Uh, oh my God, rocket, rocket, rocket. This is not snipers. This is supposed to be 20 snipers twice, not a raid of 40 guys with real guns. Holy, and rockets for days. Uh-oh. There's there's no choice here. But to restrict everybody to the safety first zone inside. Wow. Is there any way we could activate all these mechanoids and pull them towards us? Not really. Oh! But there is one thing we can do, super secret adventure mode! Yes, we've been saving this since episode one. Whew, this is insane, absolutely insane. The base is about to get plummeled, plummeled into a bad way. Are they all gonna come up after Monk? They might, Monk has the shield belt. This is our one and only chance here, really. Come on guys, come up after Monk, please. Come on up after Monk, please. It does not look like they're interested in coming up after Monk. We have no choice. We have to do everything we can. Super secret base mode engage. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna deconstruct that one wall. And we're gonna hope that whatever is in there comes out and helps us in a very serious way. Moro's up here leading the charge. Dusty, Madame, Disaster, Cake, Vladlena, Jenkins, Baron, Matthews, Nika, Fugly, Kazumi, Macy, Moraz, too many. How's this wall doing? Okay. 
And I wonder if they're going around to the to the mechanoids. It almost looks like they are. We'll see. Area revealed. What do we got? Oh, three Lancers and a Scyther. I don't think Monk's going to make it, lads, but we'll see. Oh, that is so bad. Our only real hope is to run down here with Monk and get that go juice so we can go faster. <laughs> run, Monk! Monk is probably going to get knocked out pretty quick is my guess. Let's unforbid that and have Monk come down here and inject go juice immediately. I hear things exploding over here, but I can't tell what. Oh, I see. They're throwing grenades on our incendiary shells. That's really bad. They're really close to these guys up there. That would be fantastic. Come on, Monk. Charge! Mads, Monk! Ooh, not happening. Not happening. Oh, God, not happening. Maybe. No, Monk is down. Ah, <sighs> death in six hours. However, we have a distraction at least. They're almost through on the walls over here. And in fact... Yeah, they're just about 100% of the way through. They're in. Looks like they want to throw grenades on top of each other. They are in. Come on, turrets, go for it. Get them. Get them, boys. Get them. They're going to kill every single turret. Nothing we can do about it. Rockets ahoy. Good thing we built those walls. Oh, you know what we could use right now ourselves, actually, is a rocket launcher. Marta D, equip the Doomsday rocket launcher. Where are those mechanoids? Down here, salt and pepper is where they're at. Beautiful. Ooh. Look at that, the Lancers are shooting through double doors right inside, activating the shields. Marta D has got the rocket, let's go. Come over here and hold that door open. We'll have to move into it briefly to open it. Now that it's open, we'll fall back to the top. Okay, boys, here we go. Marta D, we need the best rocket of all time for any rocket, who's anyone who's ever fired a rocket in all of RimWorld. Ever. Vladelina. Oh, the turret! The turret! The turret! Oh god, Marta D, who are you shooting? No, we only have one chance here. It's gotta it's gotta be perfect. We gotta hit all of them right there. Re-aim. No, better yet, right here. That's the tile. Nope. This I know I don't keep changing my mind. This is important. This is the tile. Look at them, Nika, Nat, Nadine, or whatever. They're all shooting the mechanoids coming in. I think Pepper got evaporated. He did. Fantastic. Monk is nearly dead, but what are we going to do? We have to send Shadow out to rescue Monk. Shadow can't walk. We'll have to send Good Karma out to rescue Monk. It's the only choice. Okay, this rocket is the only thing that can save us right now. Come on, Marta D. Come on. Like you mean it. <laughs> that was a big one. That was a lot of guys down. But they had 40. Let's stop holding this door open now. Grenades! They're throwing grenades through the wall that they opened with Moro. Oh, good God, Marta D. Go equip the thrombo horn. Go, 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 go. Good karma's on our way out. We don't have time. We don't have time. We gotta get over there and shut down Moro with those grenades. Those grenades are insane. Come on, Marta D. Yoink the thrombo horn. Go after Moro now. Nice. Moro's down, but good karma's down as well. And there's a legion of guys shooting over here. How are these mechanoids doing? It looks like they're all gone. And there's a huge rocket. Never mind. They're not all gone. There's two of them still. Holy. This is bad. 29. Marta D has no hope here. We got we got to fall back. Nope, Marta D's down as well. Well, now it's all to the, up to the mechanoids.
Wow. Now it's all up to hypothermia. <laughs> That's the only hope we have is hypothermia. We have to hope that hypothermia knocks them out before we're doomed. They're breaking through the walls here. Oh, they decided to kidnap who they can and leave, have they? Good karma, Marta D. Nice, good karma got right back up. Let's have her equip the thrombo horn. Shadow can come out here and equip this thrombo horn. And smash Amy here, who's got some pretty awesome gear. You can do it, Shadow. Oh, wow! We actually knocked down Amy in like a single swing. Serious hypothermia is why. Marine Armor 98. Heck yeah. Good job, Shadow. Stripper. Awesome. 98% Marine Armor for us. Oh my lord, look at how many of them have fallen from hypothermia. Smoke pot belt, synth thread parka. This is insane. It's like a lutathon. Including recon armor. Heck yeah. It does seem that Mad Monk will not survive. Death in two hours. Good Karma just will not get there in time, no matter what we do. Good Karma's gonna die herself. Could we get Mad Monk's gear off, at least? Because it'd be really nice if we could. And they're gonna make off with Marta D. I think Luna's actually gonna be happy about that. I like how Luna's gonna sleep through the most dangerous, biggest, most dangerous, most dangerousest thing ever. Death in one hour. Death in 0.9 hours. 0.8 hours. Good Karma, come over here. Strip Monk, 0.7 hours. 0.6, fare ye well, Marta D. We will miss you. Fare ye well. At the same time, Monk, oh, I hate to strip all your gear, but Thrombo for gear is awesome. Awesome. And fare ye well, Marta D. Marta D has been kidnapped. However, she's not lost forever. An opportunity to rescue her may present itself in the coming days or years. Well, boys, what do we got in here? We got ourselves a skill trainer in crafting. We got some glitter world meds. We have several ancient crypto sleep caskets. 20 luciferium. That's the important thing right there. We lost a good amount of our turrets, but we still have our mortars and our shells, so that's okay. Let's have good karma put on the thrombo fur parka. She's the only one who didn't have it, and we'll have her also equip the thrombo fur button-down shirt. Oh, fare ye well, Mads Monk. You lasted a heck of a lot longer than I would have expected, to be honest. Let's haul these thrombo fur pants back with good karma. Whew. Well, we did it. We survived both raids. <laughs> now we just have to recover from this insanity. And we're going to have to put our second gravesite in for Mad Monk. Shadow's the last lady standing. Taking care of good karma in the dark. Oh, good karma lost a pinky. That's no good. Some pods have arrived with the Psy Link Neuroformer. There it is as soon as Luna wakes up, boys. This ginormous mess was all for that little item. Technically, it was for food. Uh, <laughs> but, hey, we got that item as well. Good Karma's no longer incapable of walking, so really we need both characters to tend to themselves. There are so many wounds, it's insane. We really need Luna to wake up now. This is bad times. There is too much work to do. 
too many things, too many places, too many things to construct. On the plus note, less mouths to feed, so at least there's that. No! Mad Monk is already a Skeletal! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Good karma, come out here and bury Mad Monk. Mad Monk literally saved the colony there. One armed, super pain, super angry Mad Monk ran out, opened the ancient danger, and saved the entire colony with her sacrifice. She deserves a proper burial. Wow! 17 skill and social region leading master. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, are you kidding me? Who punched Monk's arm off? Who did it? Come on, Monk. Come on out and distract him. Come on out and distract him, Monk. Yeah, give him something to think of for, about. What for? I don't know. Anything. Fare ye well. Yes, Luna is awake! The rebuilding effort here is actually pretty crazy. How many things we're gonna have to do to get the base back up and running. We need the nutrient dispenser here uh, and a wall here to make sure all of the stuff inside is not rotting. Put our wind turbine back in where it was. Oh, we needed components and I think the components actually got destroyed. We hauled them over here and some kind of rocket destroyed 12 of them. And it looks like all of our tables were destroyed too, including the machining table. So let's build a new one. We don't have the components to build the machining table. Well, what you can do as of the latest patch is actually use a, a crafting spot. And here you can smash mechanoids. And we'll have Shadow come up here on working that right now. Now Luna has a very important thing we need her to do. We're gonna have her come in and you guys guessed it. Take the Luciferium. Luna is going to be a Luciferium goddess. Every six days, Luciferium policy, Luna, Lucy, beautiful. And we're gonna haul that back right now so it doesn't deteriorate any further than it already has. Need electricity more than anything. We have to have Shadow come out here and mine some of these uh, compacted machineries just as soon as we're done cleaning up the base. Shadow's gonna light all of our trash on fire. Awesome. <laughs> Good job, Shadow. <laughs> this is the best place for a pyromaniac ever. We're gonna have to switch our research to battery now that we don't have one, and we really can't afford the time to go get one. We are down to one singular meal. Fortunately though, we've got not one, not two, but three hunams to nom on, as they say. We lost our butcher's table before, but we have enough wood to make a new one. Let's have Luna actually use this Psylink item that we have fought so valiantly to achieve. So many dozens of people have died. 
so that Luna could get this. Let's see what it actually gives us, shall we? Boom! Luna now has Psylink level 1, and she has picked up Chunk Skip. What the heck is Chunk Skip? That's a new thing I haven't seen before. Skip the five chunks of rock or slag to scatter them near the target point. This is useful for producing cover during offensive operations. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, if we ever go on another solo quest. For now, though, it's not really all that useful. Now, I have an interesting idea for Shadow. We're going to move Shadow, actually, over here to the Crypto Sleep Caskets and put her to sleep because she's not all that useful except for mining. And quite frankly, we can have good karma go train out mining with passion and too smart. As for Shadow, she just has extreme and toxic buildup right now. And more importantly, we're down to just the meat we have from three humans, meaning we're going to run out of meat in about two days by my calculations. If we put her in the casket here, we'll have a lot more food for just Luna and Karma. So let's have Shadow jump in. Not consume any of our food. Let's see if these guys have any good gear for us. Ooh, 34 gold and some pemmican. Pemmican, plasteel, advanced components. Carlson actually has some components and more gold and some pemmican. So we can make a royal bed out of all of that. Interesting. Whoa. The what? A group of mechanoids are attacking. Uh, can I just quickly point out that in the last... How many days has it been? Day 98, day 106. In the last eight days, we've had one, two, three, four, five raids. <laughs> uh, well, one's a cluster, I guess. So, okay, yeah, we're basically, there's nothing. We're Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing whatsoever that we can do about this. Wow, they're going right right where it really hurts the butcher's table we spent years trying to get that butcher's table and they're like ha ha take that you doofus frigging frigging friggings let's have luna come over here to hold this door open good karma can probably repair this actually you know what's a better use of good karma's time let's open this door and then throw a grenade right here to stun these guys awesome let's get luna out there to give him what for from the side very good. Now we have good karma come back and repair. Nice. They're all stunned. They're confused. Luna comes back and doesn't get shot now. Awesome. While we're down here, let's go quickly build this trap because the guy's coming. What? You little hacker. Just a bruise in the right leg, but still right through the door as we moved around the corner. That's insanity. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You want to step on... Literally no traps whatsoever, I guess. Boy, work left too. We're gonna have to just take the shot in the back. We have the door for cover. Nice. Luna, come inside. It's not safe out. It's not safe to go alone. Come inside. Come inside. My God, hitting the right leg now again. Her right leg is one hit point. Woo! That's insanity. That cheeky guy almost killed us. Mortars down. At least it did some damage on its way out. Nutrient paste dispenser is about to be kerfuffled. Some might say. There's a major kerfuffling. Come on, good karma. Open the door. Throw the grenade. Yeah, that's not going to work. Shut the door. Luna, come back. Nice big stun. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Water turrets down. Hey, buddy. Sup? One mortar down. This is viciously awful. Hey, guys. We're right here. Nice. One more.
There it is. Traps for days. This is what we're talking about. Good karma if you'd be so kind. Nice. Another trap. Good karma's tanking here to like a boss. Luna's giving him the deeps. We even got a grenade out. Woo! Come on, good karma. Walk back. That is not a safe place to be. Keep spamming the grenades. Heard another trap up here someplace. One more down. Oh, we might actually do this. How is good karma doing? A ton of bruises. Luna still has that cut, but it's not the end of the world. How many are left? Just the one. All right. We did it, sort of. I mean, we lost another nutrient paste dispenser, but it's only one component because uh, we got two back from its destruction. And there we go. We actually survived a raid of 10 mechanicals with no defenses whatsoever. Fantastic. But will we survive the next raid now that everything is awful? If you guys think yes, crash the like button. And if you think no, crash the like button. But most importantly, as always, crash the man.